Well, hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. My name is Mike. Today, I want to do some whisper tests with the little Tar Heel 2 antenna, specifically between the stock whip and this new whip that I have. This is the MFJ SWP100. It is a six foot whip, all stainless steel. I think it's made of Valyrian steel, actually. But I uh, wanted to see if having a bigger whip would make a big difference in the performance of this antenna. This antenna works fantastic, as is, just out of the box the way it is, but, you know, more wire in the air should mean more contacts that we get, so stay tuned. Let's have some fun. So here's the setup I'm using. We got the ICOM 705, just running five watts. Got my MacBook with WSJTX. Uh, we're on 20 meters right now. There's a bit of noise here. I don't know if you can see, but right here on the screen, there's there's two big lines of just really wide spread noise. I've had this problem before when I was here, and I, I kind of suspect it's probably this USB cord. I probably need a, a ferrite or two on there. I don't have any with me, so we're just gonna deal with it. But uh, I'm gonna do some transmissions. I'll do the same amount of transmissions on both whips and see uh, with the whisper reporter what, uh, what kind of results we can get. So let's see what happens. I'd like to say thank you to these guys. They're my newest members over on Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel, please head over to patreon.com slash KMRD radio stuff. So full disclosure, I feel I've done whisper uh, exactly once in my life. So definitely not a pro at this, but I feel hopefully we can make this happen. And if not, then you just won't see this video. <laughs> So I'm on 1500 hertz, I have no idea. That's kind of in the middle of this uh, noise that we're getting. So there's a little bit of a clear path. So I'm just gonna hit transmit next and uh, see what happens. I think I'll go like four transmit cycles for each test. Now I realize that this isn't gonna be a perfect test because we're not transmitting with two antennas at the same time. Uh, I don't have any devices that'll allow me to do that. Hopefully within a 20 minute or so span of one another, we can get somewhat of a realistic look at what the two whips are gonna get us. I understand band conditions can change at any time. I know all that, but this is a real world test. I mean, this is, this is what would happen in the field if you were to use one antenna and swap out another. It may be great, it may not. That's why we do these things, we experiment, so. And it gives me an excuse to be out here at the park. I saw a freaking alligator earlier. All right, we're transmitting. ALC is just barely moving. SWR is flat. All things are good. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so after four transmissions with the smaller whip, uh, we got 121 spots. I'll show you here. And I started probably around 11, a little after 11 in the morning. It's 12.09 right now. Well, I guess we can start, see when I started. We started at 16.38, and the last transmission was 17.04. So there's the time. So 121 spots. Let's take a look at the map. Let's refresh this. Uh, let's see, who am I? K8MRD. And I was only on 20 meters, so let's search this and take a look at the map here, how far I was getting out. So that's how far we were getting out. Lots to uh, kind of the eastern half of the country. This is a pretty typical radiation pattern that I've seen uh, with my NFED antennas that I've used from this park. So uh, everything looks consistent there. Now I'm gonna change whips, do another four transmissions, and then we'll take a look at this data again and we'll compare them and see uh, if there's really much of a difference. So 121 spots with the 30 inch whip. Let's see if we can, uh, <laughs> let's see if we can double that with the, with the 72 inch whip. I got my super high quality Harbor Freight wrench here. <laughs> Unscrew this guy and uh, we're gonna replace it with that. So, more than twice as long. I gotta say, I don't know if I'd drive with this whip on. It's, uh, it's a lot heavier. 
and obviously a lot taller. And I, I don't know if this particular mount, this is the Diamond K400 mount, which is a really awesome mount, but I'd probably want something a bit more robust. So uh, I would recommend it more for just kind of stationary activations, but do whatever you want. All right, so we got the 72 inch whip on. Gonna run the same test with four transmissions. Uh, this time I'm running K8 MRD stroke five, so we'll be able to differentiate between the transmissions and the, and the receiving stations, and we'll see what we get. Hopefully we get more than 121. First thing we're gonna have to do though is tune or retune the antenna. The SWR is through the roof now. We're down, perfect, zero SWR. I have no idea if the stroke five is gonna matter. Hopefully it will, because otherwise we won't be able to differentiate between the signals going out. And this could be a total fail. So after the first transmission, uh, we just got a lot of contacts. We just got 67 contacts. Uh, There's actually 126 that we got from the previous one. It looks like a couple of spots were still uploading, but now we've got 193 spots versus 123. So all this 1736 timestamp here or all the first transmission with the longer whip. So that's uh, half the number we got just with one transmission that we got with four transmissions on the other whip. So and we can see we've got Hawaii now, we've got way up into Alberta, Canada. So it's definitely getting out uh, a much farther reach. Unfortunately, putting the stroke five after my call sign didn't allow us to differentiate between the two signals. So. I can't do two separate maps or anything, so we're just gonna have to compare it this way, but hey, I'm learning. I have not used Whisper before other than once, but this is a pretty neat experiment, so it's cool to learn stuff. Now after the second transmission with the longer whip, we've got 249 spots, which is 123 just on this antenna already after two, sp after two transmissions, so it uh, looks like it's doing way better. Check out the map here, K8 MRD. Let's go for 12 hours. Search Whisper, go to the map. So the map looks the same. Probably a lot of the same guys spotting me again, but just the fact that we're being heard more uh, is definitely giving us some positive results. So after the third transmission, we're at 290 spots, which gives us 164 total after three transmissions. We were at 126 with the other whips, we're already 38 ahead with only three transmissions. So um, not really getting out any more in the map, but we're making more contacts. And that's the whole scope of this experiment is to see, you know, what is the difference here? So we're only 38 ahead so far, but let's see what happens after the fourth transmission. And then we'll wrap things up. The results are in total number of spots. We've got 350 spots total between both whips, but 350 minus 126 from the 30 inch whip is a total of 224 spots that we got on the six foot whip versus the 30 inch whip. That's a difference of 98 contacts. So we've almost doubled the amount of contacts that we've made with the longer whip than we have with the smaller whip. Let's take a look at this map here and see if this shows any difference, see if we got out any farther. I don't think we're getting any DX. Oh, we got way up into Canada here this time. Let's zoom in a little bit. So way up there in Alberta, to our friends in Alberta, that was uh, VA6RPI. Um, nothing, no DX at all, but that's okay. Lot more contacts though, that's the whole purpose of this. What's the difference between these two whips? We're using less loading from the coil. I was at, uh, it's probably about 10 or 11 turns down from where it was with the smaller whip. So we're using more antenna and less induction, which is always a better thing. So that was a pretty neat little experiment. Just goes to show you more wire in the air, more contacts. It's also cool to just kind of experiment with Whisper. I've not done that for any antenna comparison tests. And uh, well, yes, I understand that an hour lapsed between both antennas I started at, I don't know, 11.30 or so, 
ended about 1.30, a little before 1.30. And uh, you know, propagation changes, I know that, we all know that, but to get that many more contacts with the longer whip versus the smaller whip just goes to show you, uh, having more wire in the air is gonna help you out. So like I said, I don't think I'd drive with this antenna, not with the mount that I have anyway. Maybe if you have one of those real big like three magnet mounts on the roof of your car, probably be a bit more sturdy, but uh, I don't want to trust my uh, trunk to hold that in. So. <laughs> I shan't be driving with this, but very easy to change out. You just get a wrench and unscrew it and screw the new one in. So uh, pretty cool. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And I will see you again on another episode of KNMRD Radio Stuff. But before I leave you, I'm going to show you this alligator that I saw. 73, guys.